Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. It is Thursday, which means we have an update, and it's an update I've actually been waiting for for a little while, ever since I heard about it, I kind of knew it was coming. Uh, I was expecting it last week, but it wasn't enough. Last week, it is this week. Uh, a couple of big things in this one. The first one is we're, we've got the industrial size air blades, and uh, yeah, we're going to go check out that helicarrier shortly. But there's a few other things that they've done. Um, they... Uh, Oh yeah, this is actually the first one we're going to check out here. This is uh, something that they were talking about, and that's the reconnection of switches, uh, like the switchboards. If you drive out of range, I'll just, what I'll do is I'll place switchboard here, and then I'll get out of that, and get out of that too. Go ahead and connect that. So now it's connected, and technically if that was hooked up to a power source, it'd be charging these batteries. Now if I get in, and let's actually get in the third person for this, and I drive away, if I get about 40 blocks away, let's say about here, if I can actually, no, oh, yeah, wrong button. No, it's still connected. Gotta go a little bit further. It's 40 blocks. So that should be it there. Yes, it's disconnected. So now, if I drive back over, it will automatically reconnect. So this comes in handy for when you want to recharge your, hey, that's nice, recharge your rover, then you don't have to worry about um, having, you know, reconnecting it every time. And the best thing about this is you could, if you have, let's say, a large base where you're driving around a lot, you don't actually need to make a vehicle out of batteries. You just put a switchboard on it, hook it up to all the wheels, and then just make sure you have it connected to every point so that there's space far, far enough a point apart. And I'll show you what I mean here. I'll go place another one. Let's actually just drive over there. So then that way, uh, you have you have a space apart, so you always have one that's connected, so you're always in range of one connection point. And we'll actually put this to a test here. I am out of range. Place that there. We'll place uh, this here. This is actually another thing they changed too, was uh, changing the, the, the building distance depending on the size of the object. Like if I'm here with a with a switchboard, it's right here. If it was a base foundation, it'd probably be a little further out. We'll actually May as well test this. So as you can see, you can reach further out with the base foundation than you could with the switchboard. But anyways, let's get out of that. Let's reconnect connect this up to this switchboard. So now it's connected to this one. So if I turn around, I should actually be able to connect to both of them right around this rock here. We get out. We're connected to that one. Let's uh See if we can get connected to both. There we go. So as long as you do that, you don't have to worry about having batteries on your vehicle. A vehicle, and I might actually try to use this for future builds that require a lot of power, but I can't afford to be carrying the generators around. All right, what else do we have here? Uh, there's some building tweaks. Uh, one of the things they did, and we'll actually check this over at the cabin, is if you can't actually build a block there, it will not snap. And the best way to test that is, of course, loading the gun. And uh, let's see, let's put it by, okay, it's so number eight, no, number six, there we go. Now this always had trouble, especially when I'm trying to use the base foundation. So it's not actually snapping at all because it doesn't want to. So, Using the drop-in system for the tank now works because this actually makes it technically impossible to do it. Yeah, it won't work. Maybe I know these arrows have a lot to do with it. If I could just turn it, come on. Sorry about this. There we go. There we go. But now that the wheels are there. Or the, the arrow is there. Let's see if it actually changes. Well, it seems to work. Uh, then there is a removal effect too, and this one was actually quite interesting. Little sparks when you take stuff apart. 
I'd imagine that'd be the same in create uh, survival as well. And then they had a few performance enhancements. They added uh, a couple of new object vi visibility distances. They added low and very high. An option to disable like the, the decorative grass things, like the, just the blades of grass I can't do anything with. And uh, load times on save files, a lot of conveyor pipes, apparently. I've heard in the forums that some people have had issues loading their save files, but I had no problems. I don't have much here. But anyways, let's, let's check out uh, the feature, this update, the big guy here. Weighs 540 units, pounds, kilos, whatever they're using. Uses 500 uh, power. And as you can see, it's a little on the expensive side. Uh, I want to know is, first of all, how big is it? It's actually not as big as I thought it would be. Well, actually, that is pretty big. That's, considering that's a piece foundation. All right, let's uh, turn stabilization off so we can measure this. All right, let's get... Uh, hmm. Base foundation, base foundation. So, from what I saw in the picture, I thought it was 13 blocks. So it is. Yeah. Oh, you see that? Because that's in the way, it's not actually snapping to it now. That's nice. And it looks. Okay, so it is here. So, one, two, three, four, five. It's 12 wide. Right? No, fourteen. It's fourteen wide, and it looks like it's only three wide, uh, three deep. One. Yeah, three deep. So that's good. So we can actually have it things close here. So now the question is, am I going to be able to fit this in the helicarrier? What we should actually do is do some. Uh, wait. <laughs> Love the little sparks. Let's actually do this. Put, put this to the test here. Let me get something set up and I'll bring you back. And there we go. The slice o 5000. Will it hurt me? Of course it won't hurt me. I'm in creative. Alright, well, so I got three three base foundations and I have two, the, two cockpits on there. I tried to uh, just try to balance it. Let it go down and see what happens. It is not lifting it at all. All right, well, let's uh, go bigger. Uh, let's get some posts on here, maybe. Yes, let's go this way. Okay, that's going to be a little awkward sometimes. One there. I'm going to see if I can just put them on posts at the end so I'm not adding too much more weight. Uh, something tells me this ain't gonna lift a helicarrier. <sighs> Cause I got 700 small air blades on that thing as it is. Uh, which way am I going here? I can't tell which way it is. I'm lost. I don't think I have the room anyways. Let me get this figured out. Alright, well it does work. I hooked that one up and I started rocking back and forth, but let's check it out. So I've got three of them on here and that's actually... <laughs> you can see it's re disconnecting and reconnecting from the, connect, uh, uh, the switchboard over there. That's why we keep bouncing like that. But that's actually... Not too bad. Uh, now we gotta go check the helicarrier. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna see how many of these I can get on there and get all those small air blades out because I'm pretty sure the, the lag was caused by all those little air blades spinning. Um, but before, uh, but before we go there, I did try make a few more attempts on white shade, and uh, needless to say, it didn't really work out too well. But anyways, uh, you can check that out, and I'll see you at the helicarrier.
well, that took a little while to load. I didn't think it was actually going to load. But this is it. If you haven't seen the helicarrier, I think it was 95 or 97. I did a time lapse of the build that I did on during the live stream. But this is it. I have a lot of a lot of air blades on this thing. I think I got what was it 24 on here, in all four corners, and I have about another 600 on, down below. But I want to see. For one, it's, uh, I meant to hit tab, not B, and I always do that. First, I want to see how wide this is. So these are three. So that's three, six, seven, ten, eleven, eleven, seventeen. So I can get one in here. Take all this out, and put another rip block around it, and I can have one air blade in here of the big ones. But what I'm wondering is about down below. Because this, I think, is what was causing a lot of the lag. But then again, all, just the number of blocks I have on this thing could have something to do with it. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that. But down here, I have 13. I could take out this row here. So then it would be five of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen. I have nineteen of them. So I should be able to get four in here maybe. Yeah, four plus the other four up top. It's not gonna be enough. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if I can stack them. I might have to hide some stuff somewhere, but I'm going to get this thing flying. Uh, let me do some uh, swapping out here, and I'll bring you back when it's all ready for, for uh, another attempted flight. Okay, I am done. I don't know. I didn't even bother counting how many I, I put in, but uh, apparently they're actually only 11 blocks high. So I was able to extend this a little bit so I could double them up in here. Uh, these eight that I have up here are going to be for the directional and the steering. And then what I had to do, because I want to get this thing off the ground one way or the other without it being attached to a pole, I was able to get six on the bottom. And because you only take three blocks, you can stack them like that. So they're actually basically right next to each other. And then these and these are just going to be here for the lift. Nothing more. Just like how I was doing with the spider. Uh, it does, uh, if you're using something to create the lift, something like that, even though it's not positioned like these ones, it's still going to create the hover mode because uh, stabilization is on, on. So let's see what happens when I unplant this. I've noticed that uh, things have been running actually quite good around here. I cleaned up all my loose blocks, and I think I removed about 2,000 <laughs> at least, plus the 700 air blades I had. All right, let's see if what happens. Actually, I'm going to save first, and save complete. So, <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Last time I had planted this thing, it was so laggy. Oh, it's going to fly. It's going to fly. Like, look at this, it's free, and I'm actually getting my normal frame rate. Oh, come on. Oh, she's almost there. Needs a few more. And guess what? I have room underneath for more. Now it makes me wonder if the ones underneath the flight deck here are actually doing anything. Because they're supposed to be hover mode at the same time too. I could try adding a few more and uh, see what happens because if these aren't doing anything that that's just extra weight that we don't need but they should technically work here. Uh, let me throw a few more on here and see what we can do. Okay, I had three more up there. I think I had uh, three or four there and I even brought this out two more. So uh, this should do it. Uh, I don't think dropping a generator or two is really really going to make a difference as far as the weight goes to this thing. Just so unbelievably huge and heavy. But it's lost a lot of weight. So, let's see what happens. Well, we already know what's going to happen here. 
a little bit of lag and then she starts capsizing so let's see if I can get up into the command pot control tower cockpit let me look at a rock I think it wants to go I think it wants to fly this time oh it's almost like it wants almost like it's gonna do it Oh, and I capsized it. Of course. It's because all my lift is on the bottom and all my weight up is up top here. Let's see if I can get something going here. Yeah, not happening. It's just too top heavy for it to work. I guess I could put a... <laughs> why not, since we're already here. Let's do this. Let's put a couple of air blades up on top. Why not? Now, if they did fix the physics, this should be okay. That wasn't too bad. Let's put a couple here. And then a couple on the main flight deck. And this hopefully will get us some sort of lift. Uh, I'm going for Brooke on this. We're going to get this thing flying. Or try to. Now I think two more. At this point, I don't think having it centered really matters. And I didn't even think of that either. I got all that weight there. I had that problem with the helicarrier too, because I had the control tower. I had to use a beacon to, to balance it. So, let's see if we can do anything here. At this point, I'm going to call this the Titanic because it's not going anywhere. Well, no, the Titanic actually sank. This is just a little too much. Alright, last chance. Get off the ground. Come on. Yeah, not happening. Can we at least roll it over? Somehow? No, apparently not. But anyways, that was an attempt. I will uh, do have the save file plant uh, of it planted with the, the new refit, except for these things in case they end up tweaking them. Uh, I do have another project for these air blades too, and it's... Uh, Got to think about how I'm going to do it, but when I thought, when I heard about these ones, I automatically knew what I wanted to do, and we'll look at that in uh, probably the next episode or two. But anyways, I'm going to call it here. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you next time in the lab. Later.